of the Peter Patter Book of Nursery Rhymes. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Christy Cruz of Wellington, Kansas. The Peter Patter Book of Nursery Rhymes by Leroy F. Jackson. Peter Patter told them to me all the little rhymes whispered them among the bushes half a hundred times peter lives upon a mountain pretty near the sun knows the bears and birds and rabbits nearly every one has a home among the alders bed of cedar bark walks alone beneath the pine trees even when it's dark squirrels tell him everything that happens in the trees crickets in the gander grass sings of all he sees rhymes from the bats and butterflies crabs and waterfowl but the best of all he gets from his uncle owl sometimes when it's daytime but mostly in the night they sit beneath an oak tree and hug each other tight and tell their rhymes and riddles where the catty creatures prowl funny little peter patter and his uncle owl tick tock tick tock tick tock forty eleven by the clock tick tock tick tock put your ear to grandpa's ticker like a pancake only thicker tick tock tick tock catch a squirrel in half a minute Grab a sack and stick him in it. Tick tock, tick tock. Under the willow. Put down your pillow under the willow. Hang up your hat in the sun. And lie down to snooze as long as you choose. For the plowing and sowing. Pick up your pillow from under the willow. And clamber out into the sun. Get a fork and a rake for goodness sake. For the harvest time has begun. High on the mantle. High on the mantle rose a moan. It came from an idol carved in bone. Oh, it's so lonesome here alone, with no one here to love me. A cautious smile came over the face of a pensive maid on a Grecian vase. Are you sure, she said, with charming grace, there's no one near to love you? Boots, boots, boots. Buster got a popper gun, a reglar one that shoots. And Teddy's got an engine with a whistler that toots. But I've got something finer yet, a pair of rubber boots. Oh, it's boots, boots, boots. A pair of rubber boots. I could walk from here to China in a pair of rubber boots. Butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly, sit on my chin. Your wings are like tinsel, so yellow and thin. Butterfly, butterfly, give me a kiss. If you give me a dozen, there's nothing amiss. Butterfly, butterfly, off to the flowers. We soulless sprite of the long summer hours. Bela by the sea. Catch a floater, catch an eel, catch a lazy whale, catch an oyster by the heel, and put him in a pail. There's lots of work for Uncle Ike, Fatty Ford and me, all day long and half the night at Bela by the sea. Tommy, my son. Tommy, my son, said the old tabby cat. Go catch us some mice and be sure that they're fat. There's one family lives in the carpenter's barn. They've made them a nest of the old lady's yarn. But the carpenter has a young cat of his own that is healthy and proud and almost full grown. And consider it, son, an eternal disgrace to come home at night with the scratch on your face. Oh, said the worm. Oh, said the worm, 
I'm awfully tired of sitting in the trees. I want to be a butterfly and chase the bumblebees. The Wind The wind came a whooping down Cranberry Hill and stole an umbrella from Mother Medill. It picked up a paper on Patterson's place and carried it clean to the rock by race. And what was more shocking and awful than that, it blew the new feather off Grandmother's hat. A Beetle on a Broomstraw A Robin and a Wren, as they walked along one night, saw a big brown beetle on a broomstraw. Said the robin to the wren, what a pretty, pretty sight, that big brown beetle on a broomstraw. So they got their plates and knives, their children and their wives, and gobbled up the beetle on the broomstraw. Mule Thoughts A silly little mule sat on a milking stool and tried to write a letter to his father. But he couldn't find the ink, so he said, I rather think, this writing letters home is too much bother. A candle, a candle. A candle, a candle, to light me to bed. A pillow, a pillow, to tuck up my head. The moon is as sleepy as sleepy can be. The stars are all pointing their fingers at me. And Mrs. Hop Robin, way up in her nest, is rocking her tired little babies to rest. So give me a blanket to tuck up my toes, and a little soft pillow to snuggle my nose. The Blue Song Hot mush and molasses all in a blue bowl. Eat it. It's good for you, Sonny till we'll make you grow tall as a telephone pole. Eat it, it's good for you, Sonny. Fresh fish and potatoes all on a blue plate. Eat it up smart now, my Sonny. Tea will make you as jolly and fat as Aunt Kate. Eat it up quickly now, my Sonny. Sweet milk from a nanny goat in a blue cup. Drink it, it's good for you, Sonny. It will fill you, expand you, and help you grow up and make a real man of you sunny. Hippity hop to bed. Oh, it's hippity hop to bed. I'd rather sit up instead. But when father says must, there's nothing but just go hippity hop to bed. Away to the river. Away to the river, away to the wood, while the grasses are green and the berries are good. Where the locusts are scraping their fiddles and bows, and the bees keep a comin' wherever one goes. Oh, it's off to the river and off to the hills, to the land of the bloodroot and the wild daffodils, with a buttercup blossom to color my chin and a basket of burrs to put sandberries in. Our Little Pat Our Little Pat was chasing the cat and kicking the kittens about. When Mother said quit, he ran off to sit on the top of the woodpile and pout. But a sly little grin soon slid down his chin and let all the sulkiness out. The Animal Show Father and Mother and Bobby will go to see all the sights at the Animal Show, where lions and bears sit on dining room chairs, where a camel is able to stand on a table, where monkeys and seals all travel on wheels, and a Zulu baboon rides a baby balloon. The sooner you're ready, the sooner we'll go aboard, all aboard, for the animal show. Dicky, Dicky, Dexter. Dicky, Dicky, Dexter had a wife and vexed her. She put him in a rabbit cage and fed him peppermint and sage. Dicky, Dicky, Dexter. 
I went to town on Monday. I went to town on Monday to buy myself a coat, but on the way I met a man who traveled with a caravan and bought a billy goat. I went to town on Tuesday and bought a fancy vest. I kept the pretty buckle straps, buttonholes, and pocket flaps, and threw away the rest. I went to town on Thursday to buy a loaf of bread, but when I got there, goodness sakes, the town was full of rattlesnakes. The bakers all were dead. I went to town on Saturday to get myself a wife, but when I saw the lady fair, I gnashed my teeth and pulled my hair and scampered for my life. Where are you going? Where are you going, Sister Kate? I'm going to swing on the garden gate and watch the fairy gypsies dance their tin tam tum on the cabbage plants. The great big one with the purple nose and the tiny tad with the pinky toes. Where are you going, Brother Ben? I'm going to build a tiger pen. I'll get iron and steel and electric wire and build it a hundred feet or higher and put ten tigers in it too and a big wild cat and maybe you. Where are you going, Mother Mine? I'm going to sit by the old grape vine and watch the gliding swallow bring clay for her nest from the meadow spring. Clay and straw and a bit of thread to weave it into a baby's bed. Where are you going, Grandma dear? I'm going, love, where the skies are clear and the light winds lift the poppy flowers and gather clouds for the summer showers. Where the old folks and the children play on the warm hillside through the live long day. Pinky Pinky Pang A tortoise sat on a slippery limb and played his pinky pang for a dog-fished friend that called on him, and this is what he sang. Oh, the skies are blue, and I wait for you to come where the willows hang and dance all night by the white moonlight to my pinky pinky pang.